Hi, congratulations on purchasing the Swing Caddy. Uh, this is how you receive your buggy and this is how you put it together. So once you've unpacked your buggy, assembly is super easy. First thing to go on is the wheels. Uh, each wheel on the inside hub has an R and an L. Obviously designates which side of the buggy it goes on. Press in the grub screw, locate it onto the axle, make sure it goes all the way home. And that's that one. Same thing on the other side. As I said, make sure that it locates all the way home though, otherwise the wheel will just free wheel. Next to go on is the jockey wheel. Only one way it can go on. There's a hole in one side. There's a locating pin. Match that up. Push it in. Make sure it goes home. And that's that. That's ready. Simple. Pulling up the buggy. This is how you'll get it in and out of your car. Turn the knob anti-clockwise. Get it to a height that suits you. No, there's no right or wrong as far as that's concerned. Battery goes on the, on the tray. Battery lead goes into the battery indicator. So if you've gotten to charge your buggy the night before, you'll know if you've got enough charge to get through a round. It plugs into the post, like so. Put the Velcro strap over the top, keeps everything in place, nice and neat. And you're ready to hit the links. So the remote control couldn't be simpler. To turn it on, hold the two blue buttons for a couple of seconds. Forward, backwards, left, right. Button is in, in the middle is neutral if you just want to let it coast to a stop. Be careful with that though. Don't press it. If you're on a down slope, it will run away from you. The presets down the bottom are like gears in your car. One being the slowest, four being the, the fastest. What I usually do is put set one to a very slow pace so if you're going down a steep incline, you press the one and it slows the buggy right down. To come to a complete stop, press the P in the middle or the red button and that's pretty much it.